Hi guys, so I wanted to talk about a new fragrance that I recently purchased and I hauled here on my channel and this is Love and Crime by Ex Idolo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right but it's called Love and Crime and this is and this currently retails at the boutique that I purchased it. It retails for $120 and this is one ounce of perfume and on the package here it says that the shelf life is 36 months which is the equivalent of uh, three years so I think that's pretty good. Now I have used this now for a few days now to come on here and tell you about the fragrance how it performs and everything so love and crime just a little background on this perfume it's got its name love and crime uh, it's inspired by an old story that happened back in 1905 of a girl that was trying to help her fiance that was in prison escape from prison so she baked a hacksaw into a big wedding cake and uh, you know she did that to try to help her fiance escape from prison you know they were inspired by that love story and so yeah I think that's a really nice interesting little story behind this fragrance I don't know if it's true or not but <laughs> it's cute this fragrance I really in the beginning I I liked it when I tried it on I thought it was okay and uh, I sprayed it on let me spray it on right now and when I initially sprayed it I thought it was okay I really didn't put any importance to it or anything I just um, decided to try it on and when I initially sprayed it I immediately get like this like citrusy lemon smell like right off the bat I just sprayed it on when I was at the boutique and went home and you know continued on with my daily life and uh, but after an hour when it started to dry down I really noticed the fragrance and the performance and it made me really like literally fall in love with the perfume um, so much so that I ended up going back to the boutique and purchasing it so yeah in the beginning it wasn't impressive like when I first sprayed it it was just like citrusy but now like it's starting to dry down a little bit I can still smell a little bit of the citrusy but as it dries down you start to smell like floral and just warm uh, the musk the spices you, and I start to smell also the vanilla the vanilla is very nice and tastefully done it smells like uh, like vanilla cake and but it's not sweet like you know like dessert cake it's really grown up and adult and at the same time it has the floral scent to it which I think the floral scent also helps it from not being too sweet and stuff so it's really complex like that and that whole floral and vanilla soft vanilla and musk really lingers on for a really long time on my skin it stays on for a good 10 hours I really ended up liking it because it was kind of different to what I have you know it has that fresh clean floral scent to it and it also has that warm cozy vanilla and that mysterious really intriguing smell of musk and just all of that together just makes a really nice perfume and really amazing it's really feminine I think this is also a really um, sexy 
perfume I think this is really nice I suggest everybody to you know if you can stop by a scent bar love and crime beautiful story behind it along with a beautiful beautiful fragrance thank you guys for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe see you on my next video bye